Hi guys, today is the day that I share my kitchen reveal. It is the one video that you guys have been asking for and waiting so patiently. So this is what my kitchen looked like before our reno started back in May. Uh, the, pro the whole process started in January with the kitchen design, but we started the reno in May with the floors going out um, uh, at the end of May, so we needed to get the kitchen out before that. So my original kitchen was a cherrywood kitchen in mission with black paste stain. When we built the house, it was the kitchen that was in style. So we did most of the reno ourselves. Um, the floors were removed by uh, a different person, but the kitchen was demoed by ourselves and we found quite the surprise in the fan uh, in the kitchen. Uh, so I'm glad that's out of the house. Uh, we cut out the drywall where the backsplash was, added some pot lights, added a beam into the kitchen between the kitchen and the family room that I later stained in a darker stain. Um, and then the kitchen went in before the floors because you can put the kitchen on top of the vinyl floors. So we had the kitchen installed first and then the floors second. So here it is. I'm going to give you a little overview. I could not be happier with it. Um, goodbye the darkness. Hello, uh, brightness. I think uh, the colors have definitely brightened up the kitchen a lot. So I'm going to start with a counter on my uh, island. So we had butted up against this wall so that way we could get the maximum size possible. Um, otherwise, if I was trying to have a walkway here, it would be too... Um, narrow, uh, probably only about two and a half to three feet. This way we were able to do five by nine. And I think it's a perfect size. We contemplated about going 10 just to do a full slab of stone, but um, it would have been too much of an overhang on that side. And then if I went this way, there wouldn't be enough space between that wall and the counter. So this is, in my opinion, a perfect size for this space. Um, I went with a, a white oak in a boardwalk stain. Now I'm pretty sure the boardwalk stain is specific to my kitchen company, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. And the kitchen company that we went with is Olympia Kitchen Cabinets, um, which is owned by Brizotti. So if you are in KW Guelph, Cambridge area, you've probably heard of them. So the um, the top, the counter is quartz. Like I said, it's five by nine. That way we won't, uh, we don't have a seam because anything that's longer than 10 or wider than five, then you end up having a seam. We did not want that for sure. So um, one solid piece and the uh, quartz is Calcutta Classic by Stonex. Um, the, Stools came from two different places. I have found two of them at HomeSense and I was hoping to find two others but couldn't so I ended up uh, ordering two other ones at um, Overstock. So they are a touch different. The color is the same. The stitching is a little bit different. So I have two and two. It doesn't bother me. If that's something that bothers somebody, then I would recommend not to buy uh, <laughs> things at home since unless you know there's everything there. So then I'm just going to go over here. We I have added a fall beam. I have a DIY video how I did this over on my DIY channel. Check it out. It cost us, I think, altogether under $150 for sure. And then the lights um, came from Canadian Tire. Um, I have liked these lights quite a bit and all the lighting stores, they were a touch bigger, but a lot more money. I managed to stop by Can Canadian Tire at the time when they were half price. So they cost me like 
think I paid $75.99 for each and I absolutely love them and I think they are perfect for this space. I didn't want them to be closed up. I wanted to have a kind of a straight view from the family room into the kitchen without any too much of obstruction. So that's why I chose those and I love them. My husband also installed the pot lights everywhere, which I think it was such a great addition to this kitchen. I did not have pot lights before. So we did a lot of the work ourselves, like the demolition, the floor installation, the backsplash, uh, electrical, we had it inspected, but we did do the work ourselves. So then moving on in my sink, I went with Kohler 33 inch, I think that's the size, um, and uh, it's the farmhouse cast iron enameled sink. Um, I did a lot of research, went back and forth between cast iron and a fire clay. Um, there were many reasons why I've chose these. Primarily, this has lifetime warranty for scratching. Um, and I was really more concerned about chipping, which fire clay, I've heard so many people chip it by hitting it with a slow cooker. So that's why I ended up with going with the cast iron. <clears throat> now, I haven't had any problem with yellowing. I do use Norwax uh, cleaning paste to clean it, or I use Wim with bleach, actually Wim with bleach, which is not the perfect solution, but if you get a stain on here, it takes it right off. So that's why I actually ended up purchasing it. And then it does work on the sink as well. I also heard the barkeeper's key, uh, bar, barkeep, bartender's keeper, barkeep, barkeepers, I don't know, but something along those lines works as well. I haven't tried it. The faucets are uh, Brizo, this is Odin, and then that this is a co um, corresponding or the matching RO. Uh, so they're by Brizo. I think Brizo is the higher end Delta, but lifetime warranty, it, it was a bit of a splurge. This All of the plumbing in my house was a bit of a splurge, but I think it was well worth it. So, um, and then as you can see, the island has a furniture base. The dishwasher is in there. This is under the sink. This is double garbage. I don't want to show you my full garbage. And then this one, I had them put a pull-out drawer so I can put my dirty lid. <laughs> this holds dog food and dog treats and fish oil all the needs for my dogs and then their feeding bowls are there and then over here is another overhang and i was able to do put two stools these came from Buclair. again great price i've been looking for stools walked in Buclair. they were half price so uh, both of them were i think 150 dollars for both so that was a great deal as well i did upgrade all the handles um, I pretty much told the kitchen designer just to put a C fit for the sizes in all the, so I didn't have to uh, figure out what size I won't wear. She did that for me, which I'm pretty grateful. The floor is um, Provenza, finally mine, vinyl, and um, I absolutely love it. We did this in our whole main floor, one floor type, and I absolutely love it um then moving on to the cupboards um obviously as you can see one of the biggest costs in my kitchen were all drawers i do not have a cabinet except the corner one the rest are pull out drawers and then i we did the two pantries on each side and then over here we did a appliance garage so i'm still playing with it trying to figure out what i'm going to be putting where um so i have this and then in here i pretty much just kept appliances that i use on regular basis daily some of them so that's there um i will not be going into well i guess i could show you my pantry here it's i haven't 
organized it the way I wanted it yet. I'm still playing around trying to figure out what I want to put where, but I only went with two pull-out drawers. Last time I had pull-out drawers on these two shelves as well. I had all pull-out drawers and I found these two shelves were really kind of useless when it came to pull-out because it was hard to reach the back of it. And this one, like if you're not I'm 5'10 and I had a hard time seeing the top of the the shelf. So I opted for just the two bottom ones to pull out. I probably could have done this one too, but it is what it is now. So I did the same thing at that one. And then another thing I'm going to show you, well, a couple more things. Um, we did a cutlery drawer and this is the double one. So it's has the cutlery on top and then all the other um, utensils, I mean, whatever cutting tools I need are in here. And this saves a lot of space. Um, I used to have two to three drawers to house all that. So that's nice. So there are deep, deeper drawers at the bottom. And then here I went with an oil spice um, shelf. And again, as you can see, it's half empty because I'm still trying to kind of figure out how I'm going to organize everything. So just to give you a look, crown molding. Crown molding is one of the more expensive things in the kitchen, we found out. And then I did the pot filler as well. That one is a Delta pot filler, just because I did not love the, the Brizos ones that they had and this one matched really well with my faucet so that I love it again it was a splurge it was one of those things that you know is it necessary no but does it look good absolutely and I have been using it quite a bit so I guess you know it is necessary then <laughs> and then on the other side of the stove I did another utensil holder that way I don't have to have any of that on my counter and again it's empty on the bottom just because I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put all of my barbecue tools in there so in here is just a corner shelf and I am keeping all of my heavy stuff in here all of my cast iron and stone is in here and I did not go with the Lazy Susan. I do not love Lazy Susans at all. So I just went with that. And um, that way I don't have to put those heavy things inside my drawers. And then we did another garage. And here I have a microwave and it has a shut off when you close it. So that's that's that and then over here is my little coffee station it's a bit of a downgrade in the size of a coffee station comparing to what i had last time but i absolutely love it now last time my coffee station wasn't in my kitchen so this is a bonus having it in the kitchen and i did floating shelf that are done by the kitchen company and they were seen in the same boardwalk white oak boardwalk stain and, and then white oak wood so that's uh i love this it gives me a bit of a a nook to decorate and kind of put my own little touches as you can see it's halloween time now so um i do have a whole video on how i decorated this if you want to see see it um it's in my videos i think it's the last video i posted before this one so and we also splurge on the coffee maker. This was a recent purchase. It was actually my husband's birthday present. So, and then I have deep drawers here and I store my, again, I can show you, it's not fully done yet. I still have cake apps left from my uh, coffee maker before, but I have all my teas and I got these actually from um, Dollarama and they work really well in here. And then in here are just all of my mugs. And then the bottom is extra coffee and all that stuff. Like I said, I still have to figure out a good way to decorate everything. And I also put that divider in here, just so you can see. It works really well and it kind of matches the inside 
of the drawers a little bit too so that's nice the appliances that we went with i went with a 36 inch dual fuel kitchenaid stove so dual fuel means gas on top electric oven i love this stove um, the oven works amazing and um it didn't take as long to get it as I thought it would. We ordered all of our appliances in January and um, the stove, the dishwasher and the fan were all in by the time my kitchen went in. We did have to wait for the fridge and the fridge we did go with the KitchenAid one. And I have a full organization kit, um, video on my cooking channel, how I organized this um fridge so if you want to check that out you go ahead over there um and uh for and i opted for the fridge with the water and ice on the outside this time i haven't had that before so i just wasn't a fan of everybody always going into my fridge to get ice and water when we had company so i prefer that much more and then the fan is a Zephyr, I think that's how you, you say it, and it's a Venza, Venza, I think that's what it was called. Um, this was one that was recommended by the appliance store guy, salesman, and um, I just want, I knew I wanted a stainless steel. I did contemplate at the beginning, but then I made my decision that I wanted a stainless steel hood rather than a wood hood that I had before. The, and the KitchenAid um, dishwasher as well. It's just a dishwasher, nothing special about it. The backsplash that we went is a, a Keep Artisan uh, tile. It is, um, so you cannot purchase the Clo tile in Canada only through Wayfair. So this is a company that makes makes a very, I, I, in my opinion, it's almost the same tile. It's Spanish tile, hand handmade tile, um, but it but it's available in Canada and it's called Artisan Aki. So I will have all the links to everything that I have linked down below if you want to check any of it out. Well, I hope you had enjoyed this kitchen reveal tour. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, make sure the notification bell is on because Christmas is uh, almost here and we will be decorating the whole house for Christmas. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching. Mm -hmm.